Good morning, this is Charlene from Sound Sewing Silverdale, Washington and the Foth Creative Sewing Center, Lacey, Washington. Today we're going to play a little bit more with encoring in our software and also how to uh, save our design and export it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and select our design. Um, I'm going to go into my super design right here. I'm sorry, I did that kind of fast, so right here. And I am going to go and open up my menu. And so we're just going to play with what's built in. I'm going to go get a couple of my favorite designs to play with. And they're down here towards the bottom. They're in the, they are in the wreath two of the wreath search. And we are going to select on this first guy first and just click apply. And then we're going to select the second guy right here. And then we are going to just click apply. I am then going to come down here to the bottom right to my zoom to rectangle and come in here and uh, go ahead and start right here left click and drag a box around my two designs. That way I can come in and separate these guys. I'm then going to rotate him by putting my cursor on the side over here. I can just come and rotate him a bit and then I'm going to come and just kind of move and rotate him till I get him kind of in a pleasing shape. Nothing has to be perfect. Okay, so just like that. Now I'm going to do what's called a zoom to fit, which is down here. It's this uh, zoom to fit rectangle. And I am then going to hold down my control key on my keyboard so then I can click on the second design here and that will put orange boxes around. I want to group these so they stay individual, but they will play together as a held design. To do that, I need to go into my Home tab right up here. And then I am going to go right here to where it says Group. And what's going to happen is, is when I click on it, my dotted lines I had between my orange handles are now solid. So these are kind of locked together. They're still individual because I can still see the shadow of the boxes behind. So if I decide I want to go in and play with them, I can by ungrouping them or doing a restrict group to give me back those dashes. Okay, so we are now going to go into Encore. We're going to play in here a little bit. So let's open up Encore. Before I go too far, I want to make sure I have a second copy of this over here on my clipboard. So to do that, I am simply going to right click on it, do a copy, and now if you look over on my clipboard over here, there is a second copy of them for me to play with later. I'm going to go ahead and do a circle. I am then going to come in and make it seven repeats over here because I can. And I am going to do a preview. Okay, so I have seven repeats. I'm just going to bring them down until they're just about touching, but not quite. So I have a circle of these, and once I have them the way I want, I'm going to come up here and then click Apply. Now that they're applied, they are also orange handled with solid lines, so these are grouped, as well as having all my individuals inside. So I can actually pick this up and move it any way I want, and they are grouped. So the next thing I am going to do is I do want to play with this one that's over on my clipboard again. So I could go to Home tab and click Paste, or I could just right click right here on my screen. And again, I did that by a right click, and then I'm going to click on Paste, and there is my second design. So I didn't have to leave this page, which is kind of cool. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select Hoop. And I was playing earlier and I liked my margins to be three millimeters. That means I'm going to be three millimeters in from the edge of my hoop. And I wanted my designs to be at least one millimeter gap. It will decide the gap after that, depending on the size of my design. But I wanted there to be at least a medium uh, one millimeter gap. And I did preview and that's what I got. Now, very important with the when you use the hoop setting, is a lot of times we think, oh, okay, great, it's done, and I'm going to go click and do something else. We are not done. If I went to go click on another tab or decided to right click and do a paste, this encoring that I just did on the hoop would disappear because I haven't set it yet. So how I know I haven't set it is, first of all, apply is still available. And second of all, I have no colors in my color select. Those are two really good giveaways that I haven't set this encore. 
So I'm going to go ahead and click apply and now I have my orange handles. I My apply is gone so I have set my encore and my color changes are here. So that's how I know I've done that. So building a really nice pretty design. Now I would like to go in and just spruce it up just a little bit more. So I'm going to go back into my super design tab right here and I am going to open up my menu and I'm going to scroll quite a ways up. There are a couple of really cute flowers in here and I do like these flowers. And they're right here under flower one. So if I did a search under my search category right here of flower and leaves, that's how I would get this category if I just wanted to search. And that's why these are bracketed. Let me know what search they'd be under. So I am going to go ahead and click on that red flower. I'm going to go ahead and use him at the 12 millimeter default and click apply. And there he is. He's a really cute flower. Now let's go ahead and go back into Encore. And once in the Encore, I am going to go ahead and do circle again because I can. Um, playing earlier, I decided that I did like about 22 repeats. So I'm going to do the 22 repeats, making sure your group is on. And then I'm going to do a preview. And here are the repeats. I'm just going to bring them out so they're kind of between. I'm looking at my, my scrollet here versus my scrollet up here to make sure that they're not touching. And they're commonly kind of placed in between. They are just a little bit off, so I'm going, to, I'm going to drag them over a little bit. And then I'm going to click Apply. So now those flowers are in there. Now let's say I wanted an actual flower right in the center. If I go back into my Super Design tab here, I can actually grab that same flower that's sitting there. But this time, let's say I want him to be, I don't know, about 25 millimeters, which is roughly about an inch. And I'm just going to click Apply, and there he is right in the center. So he's kind of exactly what he needs to be. Okay, so now if I go to my Home tab, I can see that I have um, all my designs here. If I use the tab on my keyboard, I can actually scroll through each of my different design elements. And that's what I'm doing right now. I keep pressing the tab key and that's how I'm scrolling through. I could also just do previous design right here and scroll through. I could do next design right here and do the same thing. But if you're not in your home tab, that's not available to you. So by doing the tab key, I could scroll through or shift tab will have me scroll backwards. So if I decide to do a select all, I can come here and do a select all and I can see that everything is selected and I have 92 color changes right now because I have not prepared this for um, my machine. Anytime I do anything with Encore and stuff, I do like to do a save before I prep it for my machine. And the reason why is if I want to come back and make changes, I need to save this as a VP4 format, which is a working format. It'll keep my super design super, it'll keep my groups grouped and all that. And I can come in and still play with this without having to start over. So I can do that right here by clicking on this little teeny floppy disk looking item with the pencil, which is save as. By clicking on that, make sure it goes into your My Designs folder. And I'm just going to do this. Find a pretty fast one, Encore. That's just so I can find it pretty fast. And then you can see right here, it is a VP4. That is your only choice. If I do the pull down arrow, I have no other choice. And this is a working format. So go ahead and click Save. Now, if you own a FOF Epic or Epic 2, or I'm sorry, if you own a Viking Epic or Epic 2 or a FOF Icon, you could embroider this out as a VP4. However, it is not prepared. It is not ready. This is what I would call a dirty design because it hasn't been color sorted, hasn't been colored uh, combined yet. Uh, it hasn't been combined, so all my elements are still single elements, and it hasn't been optimized yet, which is what's going to go in and really clean up the design. So you're you're going to have a lot of work working with your embroidery machine of 92 color changes. To get it ready for your design, you are simply going to come right up here to another icon you have, which is a floppy disk with the arrow pointing to the right, and that stands for export. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and this is what I was talking about right here, that it is going to allow me to optimize for sewing. 
and it's going to allow me to combine my design. If I have designs on top of each other, it will do what's called remove overlap and will remove the design that's underneath another design that's on top. Um, really nice. It breaks. It will stop from shredding threads and breaking threads if you do this, if you have a lot of designs piled on each other. Uh, the other thing is color sort and optimize. And you'll find right here, it's wanting to put it out for a VP3. I can change this format by simply clicking on the down arrow right here, and I can have all these other formats as well as Janome and Brother, uh, Melco, Tajima. But you'll notice there is another VP4. I do not export as a VP4 because I want to know which one is my working format and which one is my ready for my machine format. So I'm going to do the VP3. The decoration tab does not apply to us at this time. Neither does the hoop orientation. We're all good there. I'm going to click OK. And then now I'm going to make sure again that it's going to my designs. And because I did a save as earlier, it's letting me know here, here was my name. It was a one encore and it did put exported on the end. And I like to leave that there because I optimize my stitches. I don't want to ever optimize a design more than once because it starts diminishing the design. So I'm going to just go ahead now, click export. And now that file that I've just saved in the exported, which is not the one that's up, this one is still the VP4 format. The one that I just exported into my designs folder is now ready for my machine. I can either send it through the SoNet or I can uh, put it on my USB stick and go and embroider it out. And because I color sorted, I went from the 92 colors I had before to only three. Have fun and play. Definitely with the Encore, one of my favorite tabs. I hope you have a lot of fun.